So naming organic molecules using the systematic rules, let's try this molecule first. So have a look at the rules on the left. The first rule is to find the longest carbon chain. The longest carbon chain is down the middle, four carbons, that makes it butane. So the name is going to be based on butane. We then number the carbon atoms, trying to make the numbers as low as possible. And because the methyl group is to the left of the molecule, number from the left, and we call it 2-methyl-butane. OK, let's have a look at another example then. This time we're going to go for four carbons in a chain. But we're going to add two branches of different carbons. So we go around, fill in the hydrogens, and all we need to do is follow the same rules again to name the molecule. So the first rule is to look for the longest carbon chain. Again, it's the four carbon chain down the middle. And then we number the carbons. So we've got a butane chain down the middle, one, two, three, and four. And we've got a methyl group coming off the second carbon and a methyl group coming off the third carbon. So it's going to be two, three, dimethyl butane and that di indicates as two methyl groups so let's try an even more tricky example when you look at big examples that look quite scary don't get put off just follow the rules if you follow the rules you'll always get to the right name and the important thing with following these rules is just to be consistent so we've now got three different branches coming off our chain and pop the hydrogens in. And the first rule, remember, is to find the longest carbon chain. So the longest carbon chain is down the middle of the molecule, five carbons. Whoop, don't forget those hydrogens. And then we need to number it. But remember, we've got to keep the numbers as low as possible. So if we go from left to right, our numbers would be higher. It's better to go from right to left here, it means which we've got the two methyl groups on the second carbon, one ethyl group on the third carbon, and we've got five carbons in our longest chain, so it's based on pentane. And then we've got three ethyl, because our ethyl group's on the third carbon, and then two, two, dimethyl, and we put the ethyl before the methyl because E comes before M in the alphabet. Okay, let's try one more example. This is quite a tricky example. This time we're going to put a chain of five carbons and we're going to put several branches on it and have a go at naming it. So there's our first branch, another branch, and then we need to pop the hydrogens in. And the first step, remember, is going to be to find the longest carbon chain. So let's have a look at that chain down the middle of the molecule. There's five carbons. No, actually, that's not our longest carbon chain. Have a look again. This is a trick question. The longest carbon chain is a bent chain of six carbons with two methyl groups. And if we number from left to right this time, that'll give us the lowest numbers for those methyl groups. We have a methyl group on the second and fourth carbon, so it's going to be 2,4-dimethyl. There's two of them. Hexane, because you've got six carbons in your longest chain.